Reducing unnecessary expenses and living within your means may seem daunting for most people. Add to this the fact that we must be content with what we already have, and the idea of frugal living is as alien as a foreign word. In this video, we will show you how you can accomplish these tasks with the 10 tips to live frugally the old-fashioned way. Number 10. Learn to DIY Doing things yourself is an old-fashioned way to live frugally. Not only is the DIY method more practical, it's also a source of joy and fulfillment. Although this advice might sound daunting, you can master it by starting with simple DIY projects. For instance, replacing your leaky kitchen faucet should be a cinch if you have the right tools and follow the correct steps. You'll save tens of dollars by not hiring a plumber. Our forebears only hired professionals for things they couldn't do themselves or the law required them to. They built fences, fixed leaky roofs, created homemade water delivery systems, and other stuff modern people might consider only MacGyver can do. You can always leave more complicated tasks to the pros. For everything else, you can always follow how-to videos to accomplish a DIY project and save money. Number 9. Master the Art of Substitutions Have you ever wondered how grandma makes a sumptuous stew or a heartwarming soup without recipes? You won't hear her mention precise ingredient measurements. For example, her pinch of salt might be different from your version of a pinch. More importantly, the art of living an old-fashioned frugal lifestyle lies in mastering substitutions. Nothing can be more wasteful than sticking to a recipe with an unavailable ingredient. You'll most likely put off the cooking and run straight to the grocery. Unfortunately, you're at an increased risk of buying something you shouldn't. So, what does Granny do? She substitutes readily available ingredients for missing ones. For example, baking powder, self-rising flour, and potassium bicarbonate with a pinch of salt are excellent substitutes for baking soda. Do you need beer for your fish batter? Chicken broth can be an excellent substitute. How about breadcrumbs? You can try ground oats or cracker crumbs instead. You must learn to use whatever ingredient is on hand if you want to live frugally the old-fashioned way. Number 8. Load up on water, not soda. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 3 out of 10 Americans love drinking sugar-sweetened beverages, including lemonade and soda. The majority of them are young folks, blacks, and men. Each person drinks about 39 gallons of commercially available beverages yearly. That's equivalent to about 375 16-ounce soda cans annually. Although the yearly average is only about $262, you're still spending. Why not drink water instead? We're not talking about bottled water. Bottled water can cost you a dollar and a half for a 20-ounce bottle. And if you consume two bottles every day, you're drinking bottled water worth more than $1,000 annually. What's wrong with drinking from the tap? Municipal water undergoes extensive treatment to kill pathogenic germs. You can drink straight from the faucet and save money. If unsure, a water filter can improve the water's taste and odor. Old folks did fine drinking only from the tap. Besides, our bodies need water. Number 7. Grow your food It's okay if you're scratching your heads now. How can you grow vegetables, herbs, spices, or livestock in the middle of the city? Have you heard of urban farming or gardening? You're not venturing into agriculture to contribute to the economy. You're growing food to feed your family. Maybe your neighbors can also benefit if you have a bountiful harvest. You don't need acres of land to till and sow seeds. All you need is a small space in your backyard or balcony to grow vegetables, herbs, and spices in pots and other growing vessels. Tomatoes, eggplants, chard, lettuce, peppers, and summer squash are excellent veggies to grow in the city. So are bush beans, Asian greens, and alliums. Fennel, thyme, mint, basil, cilantro, chives, parsley, dill, and rosemary are always great choices in urban farming. Growing several chickens would be ideal if you have space to spare. They can give you eggs for omelets and other egg dishes. You have more leeway if you live in rural areas. Cows and goats are always great to grow. You'll never worry about fresh milk again. The point here is to grow food for your consumption. It's one of the oldest methods to save money while ensuring optimum health. Number 6. Embrace buying in bulk We're not saying you should be a pathological hoarder. We also don't advise you to become a doomsday prepper. You'll want to buy essential things in bulk because you'll save more money than buying by the piece. 
It's worth mentioning that manufacturers put a premium on fancy product packaging. Hence, a pack of fresh frozen lamb shoulder might cost you about $10 to $15. On the other hand, a 10-pounder might only set you back by $75 to $90. You see, manufacturers don't exert too much effort in making the packaging for their bulk items extra special. You get the product wrapped in plain plastic and a small paper strip containing its company and product information. Fill a bag with dried fruits, oats and nuts instead of buying them pre-packaged. A 50-pound bag of salt is cheaper than a half-pound pack. Always check the shelves for marked-down grocery items. Some people might consider you a cheapskate, but only you know it's all for a living frugally. Number 5. Stock up on pantry staples. Nobody likes being in the middle of a cook when you realize you're out of an ingredient. Our forebears hated it too. Unsurprisingly, they filled their pantries with basic ingredients or staples. It's a cinch if you already have a weekly or monthly menu plan. It should allow you to determine the ingredients common across your recipes. If not, you can always list the ingredients you always use every time you cook. For example, salt and pepper are a must. Some folks cannot live without sugar, flour, baking soda, and baking powder. Others must have rice, potatoes, pasta, and other starches in their pantries. Whatever ingredient you choose to stock up on, we recommend buying them in bulk. It will be wise to schedule your grocery when the grocery is offering items at a discount. Always check your pantry items for their expiration dates. Organize the pantry staples with near-expiry or short shelf life items near the door. Go for dry foods and canned goods because they have a longer shelf life than fresh ones. This old-fashioned frugal living advice isn't only easy to accomplish. You can make it an integral component of your modern day life. Number 4. Eat Leftovers More than 820 million people go hungry yearly. Unfortunately, some people don't seem to care. They don't mind throwing leftovers into the garbage. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says we waste more than 2.6 trillion US dollars worth of leftover food annually. It's not only the social implications of this wasteful human behavior that are alarming. Leftover food also has a significant environmental impact amounting to 700 billion US dollars yearly. Our forefathers didn't waste anything. Money is scarce, and the last thing in their minds is to throw away something they can still use and enjoy. You don't have to serve the same leftover dish. You can create a different dish using the ingredients in the leftover food. Fish heads and bones can make for an excellent fish soup base, especially if you add homegrown vegetables, herbs, and spices. The Thanksgiving turkey can become a source of filling for empanadas, sandwiches, and salads. Day-old rice can be magical when cooked into a Chinese chow fan with leftover beef, chicken, vegetables, and other food. Sliced bread can become a delightful mini pizza topped with fresh tomato slices, onion, and shredded leftover meatballs or grilled chicken. Ensure to store leftover food in appropriate containers and date them if you intend to use them after several days. It's all a part of living frugally the old-fashioned way. Number 3. Cook from scratch Modern living is all about convenience. Other people process and prepare the ingredients for you, ready to hit the walk. Although we cannot argue the merits of convenient processed food, we can't deny they're expensive. For example, a 12-ounce jar of organic carrot puree can cost about $15. On the other hand, a pound of fresh-from-the-farm carrot will only cost you 50 cents. Let's say you're going to puree the carrot yourself. You'll be spending about a dollar or two for electricity and water. Your homemade carrot puree will still be more practical than buying the processed version. Of course, you'll say manufacturers adhere to high quality standards. You can observe the same thing and will never worry about feeding your baby unsanitary carrot puree. Cooking from scratch is not only economical, you also have better control of the ingredients you use. It's also easier to ensure food safety if you're particular about it. Start making your bread instead of running to the bakery to buy a loaf. After all, you only need flour, water, and a bit of yeast, salt, oil, and sugar. Craving for a pizza? You can make one from scratch and use leftovers as toppings. It might seem tedious at first, but you'll master it. The savings you get will motivate you to continue living frugally the old-fashioned way. Number 2. Plan and Prepare Simple Meals Some of us dislike meal planning and preparation. After all, we're all tired from work and other modern-day responsibilities. 
However, planning your family's weekly meals doesn't take hours. The key is to keep your menu plan simple. Consider the staple and other ingredients in the pantry, including what's growing in the backyard. Not to mention costly items too. Meal planning saves you money. You eliminate last minute fast food runs. You'll see the things you must include in your next grocery, cutting down trips to and from the store. And when you're doing your grocery, stick to your list. Ditch the recipes you watch on YouTube or TikTok because these often have so many ingredients. If you cannot stay away from recipes, pick those with simple ingredients and cooking procedures. Old-fashioned living is all about cooking with what we have. Limit your ingredients per dish to five, excluding salt and pepper. After all, these two condiments are indispensable in everyday cooking. Use the vegetables in your garden to make a delicious salad. Aim for a three-ingredient mac and cheese or a five-ingredient spaghetti with marinara sauce to perk up your family's appetite. It's one of the best ways to live frugally the old-fashioned way. Number one, simplify family entertainment. It's worth remembering that old-fashioned living is all about self-sufficiency and self-reliance. And one of the best ways to live frugally is by ditching mass-designed entertainment for good old family fun. For example, why not create a whole day of backyard fun and games instead of spending hundreds of dollars in Disneyland? There are many activities you can do at home to create wonderful memories and strengthen family bonds. Play cards, board games, darts, or marbles. Gather your neighbors and play a friendly game of baseball or soccer at the park. Do you have musically inclined family members? Why not organize a mini backyard concert for everyone to enjoy? Take turns sharing wild and outrageous stories. Enjoy a picnic while dad whips out a delicious barbecue for everyone. A pool party is better than doing a belly flop in a water wonderland. Why not turn your lawn or backyard into a campground and complete with camping amenities for kids and grown-ups? Turn on your garden sprinklers and let your kids and neighborhood children have all the fun in the summer. The whole point here is to move away from wanting to be entertained. The goal of old-fashioned living is entertaining ourselves, and you don't need wealth to do that. You only need a bit of imagination and creativity to live frugally the old-fashioned way. If you want more content like this, be sure to check out this next video which you can click right here. Finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content.